Much of the world started talking about white supremacy on Twitter after the attacks in Christchurch. It was already a big topic in the United States, but now, as you can see, there's a global conversation that's taking place. The man accused of carrying out the shootings posted his racist views and announced what he was going to do on the web. So many people are talking about the digital aspects of this story and how far-right trolls can share their views both online and off. The 28-year-old Brenton Tarrant didn't enter a verbal plea or seek bail, but he did send a clear message in the courtroom. You won't be able to see it in this footage that we're using in our hourly bulletins, but there were photographers in the courtroom who caught something that he did with his hands. A white power hand sign that's often used to troll or just upset liberals. Yes, I know it's a sign that we all use. It's the OK sign, but it's taken on another meaning on these forums. There's a huge trolling culture on sites like 4chan and 8chan where people think it's funny to make racist jokes and just watch others react to them. We've seen a number of white nationalists use this sign in public time after time. Now, the U.S.-based hate group monitoring organization, the Southern Poverty Law Center, says there are white nationalists, neo-Nazis, and Klansmen who have increasingly begun using the use of the symbol both to signal their presence to the like-minded as well as to identify potentially sympathetic recruits among young trolling artists flashing it. To them, the configuration means WP for white power. The SPLC says this kind of wink and nudge interaction with the racist right is a direct route to its normalization. It serves as a white supremacist symbol, according to the writer Amanda Marcote, one designed to be just ordinary enough looking that when liberals express outrage, white supremacists can then play the victim of liberal hysteria. But politicians like the Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez here are calling for a greater understanding of just how online radicalization works because it is impacting our entire society. But as she points out here, the Trump administration has defunded federal programs designed to fight the spread of white supremacist hate groups.